So today, I want you to meet my friend, Eric. He's a professional videographer and is enthusiastic about starting his own video service business. But as much as he knows about cameras, he's clueless about website creation. Plus, he's not real. But that's not the point. The point is that today I will create a video business website for my imaginary friend in minutes using the AI website builder, which can make a website from only a few sentences provided. And be prepared for some exciting stuff as I walk you through everything from picking the best hosting plan to using amazing AI tools and, of course, launching the final site. So without wasting any more time, let's pick our website hosting plan, which you need to store your website's data. So just click on the first link in the video description and you'll be brought to the hosting or landing page. Here we have web hosting plans. I'm going to go with the business one as it offers e-commerce features, AI tools, and a bunch of other handy things as well. Next, you'll need to select how long you want this plan for. To get the best deal and save money over time, I suggest going with the four-year plan. Now, what's cool is that with it, you'll also get a free domain name for one year. Also, make sure to use our code WB10 to get an extra 10% off. Then just log in or register, fill in your personal details, and just finish the purchase. Okay, so I bought the plan. What's next? Do I need to code anything? No, Eric, you don't. Just relax. No coding is needed because right after you purchase the plan, the AI website builder steps into the picture. So let's start. Now, all we need to do is tell the AI builder how Eric's website should look. Let's start with the text. Since Eric wants to only showcase his video services for now, I'll pick business showcase. Then the brand. Uh, I'm not sure if Eric has a brand name yet, but let it be something simple for now, like Eric Films. Now, as I said, all we need is a description of the ideal website and Eric's business. So let it be something like this. Nice. Now, if I click on personalized settings, I can also pick dominant colors by choosing my color palette. And even though I mentioned the colors in the prompt, I'm still going to select blue, green, and black just to make sure. And that's it. Just let AI do the job. And voila, in less than a minute, Eric has a website and it's already filled with relevant text pictures and essential pages like portfolio services and contact. There's also a footer at the bottom where Eric can put his contact info. You can even take a look how it will look on the mobile version. And all of that was made without a programmer or web designer. Now that's pretty neat, isn't it? What do you think, Eric? Well, since Eric approves, I'm going to go ahead and click on edit site. Now, uh, this will bring me to the site editor. Now, you know, Eric is very specific about the visual details. I mean, of course he is. I mean, he's a videographer, so I know that there are things he'd want to change here. With the website builder, you can change things in the easiest way possible. Just look at this. You can simply drag any piece of text, image, or button and move it where you want or just delete it. And now speaking of details, one thing I really like is when websites have some videos in them. It really brings the site to life. And it would also fit Eric's business. So let's add a video here in the hero section. Just click on edit section and video. Now I'm going to browse through the video library under the keyword videographer. Let's see, what do we have here? Okay, well, there's a really wide variety of high quality videos here, so you can always find something that fits you. I'll just pick this one. And that's it. Does it look better? What do you guys think? Just let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Okay, I almost actually forgot. Every good brand needs a logo, right? And you can add your logo here at the top by clicking edit header and then logo. But as far as I know, Eric doesn't have a logo yet. Well, that's not a problem, Eric. We'll fix that for you. I know you've been busy, so I'll create a logo for you in only a few seconds. Now, to do that, I need to hit this AI logo creator button, which will take me to Hostinger's logo maker page. Now, I must provide a short description, uh, so let's try just a man with a camera. I'll go with minimalistic for the style and just hit create. Okay, so you, as you can see, Logo Maker has created four logos. I kind of like this one, but I'm just going to fix it real quick. If I click on the logo, it will open an editor window where I can add the company's name and or slogan. For this, I'm going to add Eric Films. I can also choose the font, layout, scale, and spacing. 
All right, this looks pretty good. Let's leave it as is and download it. Now I'm gonna go back to the website builder, click on replace image, then upload files and select. I can also make the logo bigger or smaller right here. Okay, this looks just fine. So as you already understand, Eric is all about visuals. Stuff like text, literature, copywriting is just not for him. Now, even if you're not like Eric and can easily write text for websites or anything else, I think you can agree that it can still be a bit time consuming. Well, whatever the case, there's a solution for all of us, which is the AI writing. Now, let's get to it. Just give it a prompt and let it produce a captivating piece of text in just seconds. I already quite like the text AI wrote when creating this website, but of course it doesn't know all the details about the business, so, so there are still things to improve. All right, let's jump into the portfolio page here. Now here we already have Eric's main business areas, weddings, commercials, and short films. I'm just gonna quickly move things around a bit like so, so it's all nice and neat. Okay, so I think we already have some nice sounding text here, but it lacks some specific information. We want visitors to know what's so special about Eric, right? I mean, we do. So let's fix that by clicking on the text over here and then on the AI writer. You can also find it on the left sidebar by clicking on the AI tools button. To use the AI writer, you need to give it a description of what this text should be about. So for example, something like this. Now just hit create and in just seconds, the AI writer has prepared me a piece of text. I'm gonna copy all of it and put it next to the wedding section on my portfolio page. Okay, let's see, maybe I'll delete these few sentences to just make it a bit shorter. All right, all done. Now I'll do the same to the other parts and get back to you once I'm done. All right, the wedding commercial and short film parts are now filled with high quality text that provides some specific details about Eric's work. And since we have all the text in place, it's time to think about the images. I'm sure Eric has many great stills from his work that he could use, but because I unfortunately don't have them and because he's imaginary, I'm just gonna use the image library of the website builder. So, just as with the video in the hero section, I can change images or upload my own by clicking on edit image. Here we have lots of cool stuff. You can control its overlay opacity, let it open in full screen preview, or direct the person to the link once it's clicked. Other fun things are shapes and animations. I think I like to have my pictures in this shape. What is this shape called exactly? I don't remember. Geometry really wasn't my favorite subject in school, but that doesn't matter right now. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly select other pictures and add these shapes to them so it looks all nice and clean. Now, I couldn't find a suitable picture for the short film section in the library. So without wanting to spend a lot of time searching, I can just try to create one myself using an AI image generator. Let's just click on generate image. And now like with all the other AI tools, I must describe what I want to see in the picture. So let's pretend that Eric has shot a film once in Tokyo, Japan. So the prompt will be, uh, let's say a woman walking in a rainy Tokyo city. And for a style, let's choose cinematic. All right, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's obviously not a real shot from a movie, but depending on the circumstances, this tool is super convenient to get some high quality images super fast and for free. Okay, so Eric's website is slowly coming together and Eric is happy, but he also wants to know if he can sell something on his website to his customers or allow them to book appointments and so on. I mean, you'll never know what you need. Well, Eric, I'm glad you asked because it's totally, totally possible. In order to sell something, be it physical or digital products, services, or consultations, you need to just activate e-commerce functionality. Now, to do that, I need to select online store on the left and then hit add store. The website builder will then create a new page for me to display Eric's product. And of course it's not done. So let's return to the sidebar and select manage store. Now, right off the bat, the website builder will ask me to choose the country and currency in which Eric wants to sell his product. I'm going to select the United States and USD. Now, 
I'm brought to the store manager area where I can edit things, add products, and so on. So let's start by adding products and I have some product type options here. I can sell physical or digital products, services, appointments, and etc. And since Eric is selling his video making services, I'm going with services. Now, I must add a picture like this one and then I'd need to fill in all the info about the service. But I can ask AI to do everything for me since we don't like wasting time here. I just need to select create text and now the AI has created the title, description and everything else for me. Fast as always, right? And it even added the price. Honestly, I don't know how much it costs to film and edit a wedding, but I think that's pretty accurate what the website builder said. If we have some videographers watching, please forgive me if this price is not adequate. I've never filmed a wedding in my life. <laughs> but anyway, that's all there is to fill in. So I'm going to click on save. And as you can see, this product is now on the products list. But you know, sometimes my friend Eric also sells some camera equipment alongside his services, of course. And there's this really cool thing now on the website builder where I can add up to 10 physical products all at once only by uploading their pictures. So if I upload these five photos of different camera equipment, the AI automatically generates details like the title and description. Can you imagine how much time this can save me? I'll need to make only a few edits and it's gonna be all done. I mean, that's really, really cool. All right, so now I think I'll continue adding a couple more services, products, and delete these default ones. So I'll come back to you once I'm done. Just wait a couple minutes. Okay. I'm back and I've added a couple more products like commercials, professional video editing, and short film. I want to see how it looks on the store page. Let's go to edit website, then the store page. And here they are, all of the products looking nice and ready. Now that I've added Eric's products, the next step is to add a payment option. Eric would need to simply click on add payments and then choose the payment method he wants his clients to use. The following step would be to include his company's official name, address, and contact details. Then add the shipping destination and the shipping cost. But since he doesn't have anything to ship yet, let's just skip this step for now. Now, Eric also wants to let his customers book appointments with him directly through the website to discuss possible video projects. So it's pretty simple to do that. I just need to select appointments from the left sidebar menu and hit enable appointments. Now I would need to set Eric's available times by selecting edit availability and entering his working hours. For instance, from nine to five, Monday to Friday, the usual office working hours. I can add extra time slots by clicking the plus sign, but I don't need it. So I'll just hit save. Moving on, I need to create an appointment product by going to product, selecting add product, and then choosing appointment. First, I'm going to upload a picture and then there's the title. First video project consultation and description. Once again, AI can help with this. Next, I'll just add a price and set the appointment duration. Look, there's even an option to offer paid or free reservations, but I'm going to pick paid. And that's it. The product is now added. And if you want a more detailed tutorial on bookings, please check out this video. The link will be in the description. All right. Now, competition for video service businesses is rough. So, of course, Eric would want his website to rank really high on search engine results, right? That's why thinking about SEO is crucial. To rank high, you need to focus on keywords and produce high quality content. Good thing Website Builder can help Eric with this one as well. I only need to click on SEO settings, so let's do that right now. So click on SEO settings in the left sidebar. Here are some pages have yellow exclamation points next to them. And this basically means that they were not optimized for search engines. There are also some tips and remarks from Website Builder down below. To fix this, I can use SEO AI Assistant. All I need is to provide the SEO Assistant with the prompt about what I want to mention in the text and the main keywords. For example, something like this will do just fine. Then I must select three main keywords and hit finish. In the same way, I can edit all of the pages so that they all turn green. Now, so I've spent another 20 minutes perfecting Eric's site, like changing his pictures and stuff around and so on. 
And now I know you're probably waiting for me to just publish the website, but just bear with me, please. There are a few more things to consider. One of them is that I need to preview the website before actually publishing it. So to do that, just click the preview button to see how it will look once live. Let's also not forget the mobile version. To view the mobile version, I need to click on the mobile icon right at the top. I can make changes here as well without affecting the desktop layout. But I think this one looks pretty good, so let's head back to the laptop version. Now, another very important thing is the website's domain name. Now, remember I have a free domain name for one year that came with the plan? Well, let's just use that here. Now, I need something catchy and simple that would still reflect Eric's business. Maybe ericfilms.com. Let's find out if that works. So, I'm going to select Connect Domain button at the top, and now let's type in Eric Films and choose the extension.com. As you can see, this one is not available. Uh, some other Eric is already using it for his, his film business or whatever else. Uh, but what about ericfilmsproduction.com? Okay, this one is available, so let's go with it. And the rest is simple. I'll just submit Eric's information and conclude his registration. All right, since now me and Eric are happy about his site, all there is to do is publish it. For that, I need to press the go live button right here. And that's it, now the site is live and I mean, just look at it, how nice is it? And all of that was done without any coding or other technical skills. So as you saw, working with a website builder is pretty easy, so give it a go yourself. Because having a website is a must for any business owner, not just Eric. And you know what else is important? Having a professional email address, which you can also set up for free via Hostinger. If you're curious to learn how, check out this video. And also thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.